happen, we're going to have an engagement from the youth concerning their artistic pieces. Then we're going to go into a, a Q&A session. And then afterwards, we're going to go into a workshop in which Authoring Action, led by Mr. Nathan Ross Freeman, will unveil their writing through the census curriculum. I present to you Authoring Action. to raise our hands to save the doodling for art class. 
we are asked to recite our multiplication tables and we are asked why we can't be like everyone else with exasperated words and chalk-covered fingers to foreheads. And I could never answer this one question, why can't you just be like everybody else? But now I know, I know that every single one of you searches for a unique way to mark what we have created, a fingerprint in paint or chalk or ink, something that lets you know that we were here. We are taught to scribble in Times New Roman 12 instead of writing to the change that we want to make. We write to literature, but shouldn't we be prepared to write jingling quarters into that homeless man's pocket? Shouldn't you point out the Mahatma Gandhi in blue jeans that walks the halls and call him to the stands? Shouldn't you invite the steampunk generation all around you to the podium to speak about dreams rather than plans because there was once a man who changed the world with words of, I have a dream, not I have a plan. Schools should be launch pads for rocket ships, not jobs for the prejudiced. Those who overlook the ones who refuse to fit inside the bell curve that threatens to capture us in its barbed wire cage and shatter our clockwork wings. He pours himself shots to get rid of these squishy memories in his head. There's no point in going back to school because those who are innately incompetent rule the school like Italian mafia. They're telling him that he is disadvantaged, but if he's disadvantaged, doesn't that mean somebody has the advantage? Yes, let's talk about those, those who munch on five-star blueberry waffles, who are only forced to look at the mirror, that's the deepest they have to go. Someone's there to wipe their eyes when they cry and their mistakes magically disappear. I'm surprised they don't have amethyst shoes to walk on cloud nine with their life is topaz sheets and raspberry kisses. But I don't want you to be ashamed of your affluence or where you come from. I'm simply stating the fact that your schools pump out ambassadors and senators when there are students who don't even make it to senior year. This is a problem. Knowledge doesn't start on your last day of school. It starts on your first day of kindergarten because knowledge is your life. We are weak with hunger because so few choose to recognize our search for individuality and our need for expression and change. They refuse to respect our ideas and our thoughts because we have not seen the real world. So show us the real world. Tell us about all the things that we cannot understand because we are too young. We long to eat when so few choose to feed us. I want to reach out and grab every molecule of information I can. I want to ask ridiculous questions that I've kept to myself for fear of the crisp, laminated label that will be tattooed to my back. Stupid. I want to shatter this disillusioned window and experience this world for all of its recklessness and sorrow. Brown versus, versus Board of Education open doors for so many. Separate but equal was ruled illegal, but the separation isn't race anymore. No, it's class. There's a class war going on, and it's trickled down to the schools now. Attacks are being made, but we're at a stalemate. States are only required to give a basic education. So what if you're taught to dust the windows of the rich? At least you're being taught as some, something as handy as a career. And I know there will be pain. Yeah, she knows. And all we need is a real model that works, not some gentle band-aid that will cover it all, but a model that will close the gaps. It's not ever going to be okay if you let her walk out of this door knowing that what she has to say doesn't even matter. While we are young, we still get by, but as we grow, we can no longer stare at this paralytic dome all around us. No, instead, we come to you and we tell you to look at that child inside of you. 
you know the one, the one that you've locked away behind rib cage bars. This child, this child is your heart. It's the one that jumps at shadows and reaches to catch snowflakes on his tongue, even if it turns out to be ash that boils your throat. But how can you know unless you taste it? But before that, even before that, you have to dare. You must dare to open your mouth, dare to tear away that protective cage and remember when this was the most beautiful moment in history. Remember catching that first flake of snow on your tongue and running to tell your mother, Mama, it's snowing. Only then can we realize the true potential in people and want to engage their minds and teach them. So take a look at that person sitting next to you again. Do you see anything different? Hey, I'm 14. I go to Forsyth in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and I joined Authoring Action last year with the Salvation Ensemble. I'm Asagai. I am Willie LeVon Holmes II. I attend North Carolina a and I'm 20 years old. I came into the Institute Absolute awesome. I am Jessica. I am Taylor Jones Curtis. I am 16 years old. I attend Mount Tabor. I joined in Authoring Action. I am Asaka. I am Shannon Noel Jones. I am 15 years old. I, I, I attend Mount Tabor High School and I joined in Reach Ensemble and I am Asaka. I am Tony Jenkins. I'm 17 years old. I attend R.J. Reynolds High School in Winston-Salem, and I joined in the Reach Ensemble. Now I'm Asagai. I am Hunter Kirkland McIntosh. I am 16. I go to Reynolds High School, and I joined Ensemble of Salvation. I am Asagai. I am Marcus Lyles. I attend Winston-Salem Preparatory Academy. Um, I joined Author in Action during Reach Ensemble. Now I am asking. I am Deanna Michelle Daniel. I am 17 years old. I go to University of North Carolina School of the Arts, and I joined in Reach, and I am asking.